Welcome to my virtual machine. We've installed Spectre WM and uh, we're gonna say we don't want to see this anymore. You can update our Linux mirrors, but these days, these days, right? Uh, the reflector is a bit um, strange and, and, and it's an underestimation, <laughs> but uh, there's a solution, of course, and that's what watching or always following what is he doing, right? What elements am I getting here? So at this point in time, my first server is Mirror Osbeck, which is great. And all the rest I don't care, right? So it's Ctrl T, it's gonna be an update. It's not there. It's gonna be an update. And then you'll have a new system. Nothing to do. I just built Spectre WM. It's the future ISO. So nothing to do. But if perchance you have a wrong um, server. The solution is downgrading. So pseudo downgrade reflector will give you a faster response, getting an older version in, which is number 11. Sorry, 2020.9 there. Or what I do is run something that we've created, Article Linux, Osbeck as mirror. And that's that. So this thing that was already first. Control X, no, that's it, that's all I need. With this server, I'm happy. And I'm happy to report that many people agree with me that it's one of the better servers out there. So if I use this one, it's actually, yeah, it's gonna be the same thing from the left to the right. It's a super speed that I get, and that's all that matters, an up-to-date, fast server. Just one is enough. All right, I will wait for Reflected being better. Healing again. So now, we're in Reflector. Sorry, we're in Inspector WM. So Super Q, this is not Q, this is Q, this is not Q, right? For me, I am in a Acerti and in a QWERTY thing always. Super Q, I need to do something for my system to be actually functional. As an Azerti guy, but I can fake it, of course. I can become a US citizen and do a super Q. This is A, this is Q, so this should be my Q, which is my A. Yeah, I know. Why did we make those changes? Azerti and Querti. So rubbish. Control Alt T, remember that one. Super Enter, remember that one. Super Shift Enter, remember that one. So if we can get to a terminal, and if we can get inside a file manager, we're good to go. Let's get rid of that, okay. Where is this coming from? Well, first of all, up here, that's, that's something you should recognize, that's Polybar. So Polybar is there with some workspaces. The wallpaper is here, Variety is here, PAMEC is here, sound and network connection, and some things that are coming from the modules of Polybar. Now, if you want to learn about Spectre WM, what do we all do? Super, Control, uh, sorry, Control, Alt, F, Firefox, Arch, oops, yes, I have now a UK <laughs> but that's not smart. Uh, Arch Wiki and then Spectre W, that's not a W. That's a W, no, that's a W, M, correct. And we want to look at what ArchWiki says, and we start learning, right? Reading. Reading is an essential part of learning. Not asking questions to others, but reading. So install the Spectre WM package, yeah, we've done that. There needs to be a spectrewm.conf is there. Control H. Oops, that's something else. Super quit. Voila. So control H and not super H is gonna see do we have something? Oh yeah, we have indeed spectrewm. Right mouse click, open with Emacs, open with Vim. Other application, yes please. So you go Pacman. <clears throat> To the Pacman minus s sublime text, right? 
you know I love this application. Right mouse click, other application, sublime text, forever, okay. So we have here a configuration file. Talking about the mod key, the Windows key is the mod 4. Okay, we're looking at our keyboard, so mod 4, Windows key, check. Alt key is mod 1, alt key is there. Apple key is mod 2, mod key is mod 4. So we're saying to the system, anything goes with a super key. The super key, the Windows key, is our thing in all our tiny window managers. So the workspace limits, 10, 1, 2, 3, 10, check focus mode, follow, and so on, and so on, last, right? You just read already the words without sometimes knowing what it's for, because, hey, we're doing this the first time. Or the width, one. You realize maybe two would be nice. Super shift R. Okay, two is not bad, bad either. Uh, we can go super extreme, so it's ugly, so you can. But two and maybe a three is doing the work for you. By the way, by the by, um, I'm so used to doing it, of course. But all our keyboard shortcuts are always the same on all the tiling window managers. Super Shift R, and also actually on all the normal regular um, well desktops. Super Shift R is a reload for us. So each time I change this thing, Control S, Super Shift R. Actually, there is an application I could install. It's called Screen Key, I think. Was it with Git or without Git? Like this one. Super Shift D is my D menu. Screen key, launching it, a little application up here. Preferences, display a little bit more. I did check something in the past, but I guess it's okay. So Control Shift D, Super D, Super D and Super Shift D. Okay, he's telling what I pressed, but not entirely. So I guess that was the shift thing somewhere. Always show shift, close. Close. Super shift D. Now it shows it, you see? So anything I, I'm, I'm clicking, super D, super shift D, is going to open the D menu. Escape, closing this, super Q, that's my A, super Q, and we're off again. Right mouse click, open, and we're back in. Opening this, super F, this is one that's super easy. Just don't forget, I forget it, you will forget it, that you say, hey, I can't get to anything else. Well, press super F again. Super F, super F, super F, super F, don't forget that. So a lot of things to have a look at, the tile gap, the region padding, can change those gaps as well. The border colors, RGB, bar border, bar border unfocused, so gray-ish, and blue, or Arcanlex blue. The font color. Now these, if you do a super shift R, you'll see a bar come up here, this thing. We don't want that thing. So the bar thing is not used. We want actually the polybar that's on top of it. So we don't see it only if we do a super shift R. We don't care for it. We don't want it, right? So anything that says bar, we couldn't care any less. Except that it launches polybar. That's important. If we stop this thing, well, it's, it's still gonna work in the background. So uh, it'll show up. Anything else? Urgent enabled and all that. Here we launch some things. The start welcome app, start compton.sh. So we have something other than this file. We have a config, a spectre WM. 
everything that we can put in one place, we will put in one place. So the PyCam content transparency is going to be in here. Not this is a virtual box, so this thing is not transparent. This is what we call the, the sexy hotkey daemon. That's our own invention of name, but it's actually something totally different. It's a simple um, something. <laughs> That's why I'm looking it up. <laughs> It's the simple X hotkey demon, yeah. The simple X, X for X org, right? I've used it on a lot of things because it's handy in the sense that this file it has um, is is the same. I mean, in BSPWM, in Herabsluft, in etc. etc. Things that we can have as a centralized file to launch. Vivaldi, right? Super F1. That's what I press. You need to have the reflex sudo pacman minus s. This is a minimal build. Hacklux B is intended to be minimal. And if you're really into minimal, then it's Hacklux D, right? So super F1. Boom. There it is. You need to install, of course, the package for the application to launch. So, but it's all there. It's it's active. It's it's working. Every keyboard shortcut we have in XFCE, in Plasma, in Mate, and all that, it's all the same. Super F7 is going to launch VirtualBox if I got it. Super F8, I know I have two now. So Super F8 is this. So now we have a file for keyboard shortcuts, the file of Spectre WM. Let's uh, not save this. I don't know what I've changed. So let's be safe. And that's this, that's that. Let's go to Super Shift Enter. We were talking about the Spectre WM. So this we've done. Settings are in here. There's special videos about Pykem or Compton. Uh, type in both of them in our websites because Compton is the old name. Pykem is the new name. So both things will uh, pop up and we have some things scripts to start this to start that start this start that so that this thing actually um, is launched but the central heart you see if this is all configuration but you do feel that everything starts here in the spec of WM conf here at the bottom we set Launch this, launch that. Start welcome, start content, start this, start that. Paul Git Gnome, so a pop up that asks your password. The backgrounds are filled in, so we have our nice article wallpaper here. And an applet, this little thing up here. Pamac tray is there, variety is there. Volume icon is there, Numlock is there, XFC power manager, we don't see it, but it's there. Blueberry tray, if I have a USB in, it's there. All kind of uh, information you can need and want. Some name changes if you like them. We gone for these guys. Otherwise it's always the same everywhere, that's not the point. Some of the keyboard bindings are in here, user defined shortcuts. So mod return, mod return, super return it means. Let's kill you, let's kill you, and let's make you bigger. So you go over them, just go over them. Mod return, control, mod return, control, mod return. And then you see mod one, Eric, mod one, that's this one, <laughs> alt. Control Alt Return, Control Alt Keypad Enter. So some of us have a big keyboard with an extra keypad for the numbers. So that's the keypad Enter. That's this line 187. And others, and others, and others. You can keep on trying them out, right? X skill is also a good one. Mod Escape, so Super Escape. I have this this marker. Always a different icon depending where you are. Sometimes it's a skull like really killing things and that's exactly what it does touch anything with a left mouse click boom it's that it's killed x scale so do check them out a super x we do love our exit icons that can change at will 
in color. Lots of choices, handy, safe settings, cancel, super X, All right? Change them, love them, use them. And um, these are things to float or not. So sometimes we don't want an application to really be tiled and we decide, okay, you, you go for a tiling, not a tiling, a floating thing. And the name, we find it out with Xprop. So here we say Xprop, and in Xprop we get a class somewhere, class, 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 two this exactly the same names behind each other, here you are. Sub3. Now depending on the tiling winner manager, it's either this one or that one. I always try first the last one, capital letter, not small letter, capital letter first, see if it works, and then use the other one if it doesn't work. So sometimes we want some things to float, like a dialog from Firefox or GM Run, which is Alt F2. If installed, let's see, was it Super F2 or Alt F2? Ah, oh, there it is, there it is. So it's Alt F2. That's the run program and escape, we can kill it again. Well, it needs to be active, a little bit tricky. So if you don't know, it's tricky. So now it's gray. This is blue. When this is blue, now you can kill it. So now you can say, okay, escape. So that's this one. That's why it looks so strange in a tiling window manager, because we said, hey, if your GM run, you're gonna float. Same goes for Alkalinx welcome app, Control W. Control Alt QWERTY, right? <laughs> Acerti and QWERTY. I hate it. Why is it not always QWERTY everywhere in all the world? <gasps> it would make my life so much easier. And so other things. Restart. Here we have it. Super Shift R. Super Shift R. Mm, okay. And then the Super F. Maximize toggle. Mod space. Have a look. Mod space. You need to have more stuff open. Mod space, mod space, mod space, mod space, mod space. You're switching around, cycle layout, and the other way around, shift space. We've uh, eliminated this little guy. We put a hashtag in front of it because if you press, if you activate this and press that, it's actually going to kill everything and just stop everything and, 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 and shut down. I mean, there's no recourse, everything is down, which by accident we used to click right super q uh, super x or a uh, super shift x it's just one little finger that that wants to play al along with us and boom finished it can start again and open everything up again so it's um a play thing and the point of the video was of course to make you have a look at where to look what to change what are the important files in this particular um, tiling window manager and then it's time to play around with it all right enjoy